All right, this is really cool. Tyler just got into one right away and uh, just doing a little exploratory mission and uh, having some fun with uh, Tyler and Tony here. And right off the bat, isn't that a great sign? You know that the, t the water temperatures are right for a bite and it's just gonna warm up. And uh, it's not too cold out here. The water's high, so we're kind of just exploring and see what can happen, but it's cold enough for me to wear this ridiculous hat. <laughs> so, we're gonna have some fun today. Tyler, let's take a look at this thing. Heck yeah. All right, that's what it's all about, Tyler. Yeah. Hey, Buzz Ramsey. Your favorite fish right there, the white fish. And one thing you want to look for, see that adipose fin? That is good. If you don't have that, I believe the pike minnow don't actually have that, so look for that adipose. Don't kill these. These are related to salmon and steelhead. They're good, and they are a sign of a healthy watershed. So, cool little fish to see. every bit of good water we've been to so far so I'd be really surprised if we didn't get one here um, first cast inside and then we're kind of floating down into this easy water to stay out of the way and then we're gonna make a couple more casts out there go a little bit farther out each time and uh, change up the baits and then this does to me so far looked like the best holding water we've seen it's a beautiful hole but at the same time those last two you know just produced which is pretty cool and it's not always the hole that looks the best but sometimes it is so let's see here going a little bit farther out all right guys we got total chaos because <laughs> i was fishing and of course as soon as i start fishing tyler hooks fish a on. fish just it's like that one. and it's working us and it's a good one it's pulling hard. It's starting to come on the soft side right over here. I don't think Tyler realizes this is a good fish. So it's just, it's just, really it's just below us. And uh, yeah, it looks like it's got some weight to it. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's bi yeah, by it's far bigger than anything we've seen here. Second. It's getting yeah. close. Get ready, then we get them in the All right, here we go. I can see the bobber. In the boat, fine. Cool. Yeah, oh, yeah, look at that. Look at oh, that. guys, here it comes. It's a good size one. Uh oh, there it goes. Oh, it's making a run. Oh, whoa, wow. That was sick. Just made a nice jump. Keeping that rod down in the water and working it back towards us. Yeah. Then we'll get him by the There's another good Thank fish you. that Tyler's hooked. Uh, he lost the other one that was a little bigger. Um, and he's already landed a couple here. This one's really nice and this actually came a little later I think we had a bobber down that was suspect and then this time it just sunk. We've been through there a couple times But uh, well, here we go. This is a strong going. I'm gonna try to trick him. He's in control right now. Yeah, it's yeah. a strong he's fish. He's right in the fast water yep. and he's in control. He knows what he's doing. Hold on, Lucas. I'll get him up here. We're good. This fish is in control right now. Oh, yeah. He wants to go up there. We gotta let him go up yep. there. Yeah, when steelhead get to a certain size, it's like they kind of make the decisions and you've got to react. That's a good, that, that looks like a good fish, Tyler. Oh, that's strong. A good yeah, size. That's not, that's not happy. Going back on the camera. Uh, yep. All right. That's fine. This is all good. This right? is what we go winter steelhead fishing for, yep. you guys. This is what it's all about. This is what we fish all winter for these moments. And what is that? What? These moments. And what number is that? I don't know. So, yeah. is that so six, once six? again, I haven't even done any, an intro yet because we keep hooking fish. Tony, you so, do an uh, intro. Well, Let's while, do an intro. while we're fighting the After fish, we get this one. Yeah. welcome back to Salmon Trout Steelhead. <laughs> I'm the man with the yeah. goofy hat, and there's a bunch of fish being caught. Tyler's got a fish on. Yeah. I think this is our uh, sixth fish today so far. At yeah. least. Every single piece of holding oh, water. Oh, oh wow. there it goes. Wow. Man, it's been ripping. And it's good old hot. It's been fighting for a while and it's still doing this. You know, every piece of good holding water we've came to, we've hooked a fish in. It's incredible, you know. Three or four holes and 
Oh, it's right, it's right here. But it, yeah, hold on, dude. where am I? Cogan. Okay. Bob is here. I'm gonna try to work him up and okay. here, so. And then, so, there it is. That's yeah. Wow, wow, that is a strong oh, fish. Wow. So. Dude, I wonder, I can never really tell until they get in the net how big oh, they are. That's a good I, Yeah, I'd say closer to 12 than 10. So you gotta try to work it up and pull it towards to him, and then pull it through yeah, to him. Yeah, we're gonna okay. try to pull the trick on him. Mm -hmm. All I'm trying to do right now with my rod up like this is keep him in that soft side. Because if I go too far out, he gets in that turn. So I'm gonna try to reel him up in front of me, then work him up the side. And so do I dare say, say this? I haven't. Uh, don't say nothing, Lucas. Don't say nothing. Okay, <laughs> it was something about the net. So oh, boy. <laughs> let's not say. I believe it, dude. He's got the hat. That's how my daughter described her first coho salmon. She was like, it was like a tug of war. And this is, yeah, it probably feels like a salmon right now. <laughs> On a light rod? Yeah. All right, Luke, if you just watch the net, scoot it back. Yeah. I'm going to try to get one in the He's going to go above you okay. and then drag it to yep. you. I'm gonna try yep. To, I'm going to try to work. We'll see. Them. Yeah, try let's put this up. He's putting the heat on this fish. Try to work him up the side of the boat and give him a flip. This type of fish just has the strength. That and we're in really fast water right fast here, as you can water. see. He can turn to his side and just grab the current. Right there, you can just see the bobber. Yeah, we're out there. A little too oh, far to the service. Ooh. Whoa. Okay, so we had to switch spots to get this fish up on the softer side of the boat. But uh, man, this thing is fighting hard. Yeah, and uh, definitely, definitely doesn't want to come in easy, that's for sure. You see, it's Lucas's goofy hat. <laughs> yeah, he's scared. It's the hat, man. He thinks Big Dave is in the house. I think uh, maybe it's the color. I don't know. What do you no, think? this thing's so nice, though. You got all this fur. Ooh, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Now it's, now it's going Fire. towards the going towards the snags on the bank. Jeez, come on. I want to get a picture of you with this fish if you can. Here you go, dude. You gotta get him up here first, Lucas. I know. Yeah, I saw the weight. I can see your weight. I can see a fish. Well, there yes. he goes. Taking off again. Steelhead don't give up. That's what I love about them. That thing <laughs> Holy is done. <moly. laughs> Who just said uh, no? So, what's going on here? Huh? I'm getting my butt oh whooped my. by a nice steelhead. <laughs> Control your fish. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. This is definitely a little bit nicer grade of fish. We're in a pretty fast water spot, and he's got the leverage at the moment. All we can do is hang on and just work him back. So the river just was up last night? Oh yeah, last night it was too high to fish. Today it just crested in the middle of the night and this is your first fishable day up here. And they're, they're in here. We can attest for that. They mm -hmm. are in here. So with the water dropping, this could be a fish that just moved in here mm -hmm. last night or early this morning. Mm -hmm. And uh, it does not want to come in, <laughs> that's for sure. Big bulldog buck. Okay, now we got the situation. Tyler's rafting one-handed, fighting a fish with the other. I'm going to try to net this puppy. I think we're going we're gonna to throw anchor just a, low, a little bit lower right here. Let me get back. Yeah, so good. We had to drop down just a hair to get out of that heavy water. Lucas, uh, Lucas grabbed the rod for a sec. I'm just trying to hold it here You're for good. Tyler. Yeah, now we're gonna. Uh, I'll drop the anchor. He dropped the anchor. We're good. We just had to move a little bit. Sometimes you got to do that for a bigger fish, and this is one of those fish that when, better uh, class of fish, and, and just a hard fighter. It's a fresh winter wild buck, you know. Some nice color to it, but yeah, bucks can I'll still be out, fresh. It up and, all net it, and this thing is. Uh, Everybody, hold on. Okay? Okay, Tyler's gonna do the water net. There. So here. You sure? Yeah. Here we go. At this point, yeah. Okay, oh, oh, oh. pressure's sure. on you, Lucas. Pressure's on. 
<laughs> Tyler, I don't like this kind of pressure with this class of fish. I'm just wondering, like I feel like it's at least 12, but it's fighting like it's bigger. And we're in some pretty soft water now. Yeah. I mean, the, this thing is just strong. Water's yeah. getting softer. There we go. All right. Lifty, lifty, lifty. Uh oh, oh. oh he's the, you got, got him. him. You Sweet, got him. Man. Teamwork makes the dream yeah, work. That's Woo! <laughs> Good job, How's guys. How's he look? Let's see him. Well, it's a nice big steelhead. Big old, big old buck. buck. Big old buck. Yep. Oh, nice. Just like you thought. That thing, you know, pound for pound, that's got to be one of the hardest fighting steelhead I've seen this year. It is the hardest. That's what winter steelhead fishing's all about. Out here on the river with good friends, beautiful water, even more beautiful fish. Look at me. All right. Good, Good job, goes. Tyler. Goes. That's what I'm talking about, Go man. Go on, guys. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Good stuff, man. Well, normally I do an intro a little bit earlier on, but uh, it's been like, I don't know, one fish after another. We've been getting some great video. And today I'm fishing with Tyler Kraft and Lucas Holmgren and we're kind of I, I guess we kind of in the middle end of the winter steelhead run but it's still super strong the summer fish are going to be showing up here for the next week or so I think there's already some around but uh but Tyler he's been fishing us along he's he's well he's got all the rods and rigs and everything and and he knows what the fish like and uh so here's Tyler How's it going everybody? So today we've been out here fishing for winter steelhead doing kind of two different methods right now. One that we're doing is this long leader bead set up right here. And you can see long leader to about a half ounce slip float and a half ounce Dave's Tangle Free Lead. And then I use a little BB shot about in the middle of your line just to help get your leader down. And depending on how deep the run is, I usually set my bobber stop two to three feet from my lead because that'll get you down in the zone and then this falls out behind it and that BB shot gets you down on the bottom. So a good way to look at this, if you're fishing a slow spot, a snaggy spot, having the slip float makes you fish it really, really well. You're not gonna get snagged up but your gear's down in the zone and it's being presented just how a fish would like to bite it. One of the rods I really like using for this method is a Lamaglass V1000 Pro 106 MLS. It's a great rod, great, has great backbone, but it's long enough to make those, those men's across the river and it feels great in your hands. It's a light rod, it feels incredible. And then another way we've been getting them today so far is bobber dogging. And with this one, if you grew up drift fishing, this is a great method, because not only do you have the feel, but you also have the visual of this, and this is just gonna help you see where you're at in the river, so when we have multiple anglers out there casting, you can really work the river in a grid system and not everybody's right on top of each other. And then not only do you feel the bottom with this lead, but you can see the bite up here with the bobber. And what I like to do with this, depending on the river that you're fishing and the depth, I do about two times of the, the depth of the river. So say you're in like a five, you're fishing four to five feet, that's the depth of the hole. I'll do about 10 foot of bumper line. So that way, by the time it's laid out, you're getting a nice drift down there. And if you're getting too snagged up or it's drifting too fast, just change your lead. That's your biggest friend in doing this is using the right amount of lead and treat it like drift fishing. You don't want to be dredging bottom, just bam, bam, bam. You want that nice kind of skipping along, walking speed, just cruising down, but you're on the bottom. And then for this method, I do about a three foot leader. We've been fishing a lot of eggs today. So I, I really like fishing eggs if you got them. And I, I'm classic dude, pink pearl corky. I like running the double setup, just like if we were side drifting here years ago, a little bit of cerise yarn and some good fresh eggs and maybe a little scent if you'd like to. And for this setup, I like using a little bit heavier, faster rod. I'm using a 10 foot G1000 Pro, 10 to 15. And uh, it's, a, it's a great rod for handling this. You can fish a bigger lead. It handles all the scenarios and uh, it lets you really get a good response. Say you can start getting that bite. You have to reel down real quick. A little bit shorter of a rod, you can pull it and you get a really good hook set into them. So a little bit faster of a tip on it. You can also go, and instead of running one liter, a lot of people will go and they'll do like a two liter bead setup 
where you have one leader right here for one top bead, about the same, about a three foot or so leader to your first bead. And then you do about 18 inches to your second bead as the dropper. And that's very, very effective. Then you're giving yourself two different chances at a fish. So that's, that's what I like to do. And that's how we've been playing it today. And we've had success on, on both of these methods. And the way it's going, I think we're gonna have a little bit more success on them. And we're only about halfway through the drip, so I have a feeling we're going to be catching a few more fish. Hopefully. Yeah, this is, Tony, this is, you know, so far for me, Ben, by far the most bites per, per cast that I've had this winter. It's pretty cool. And in my opinion, I think we're heading towards, you know, I've always got to try to find a reason to be optimistic for steelhead, and I've had my different theories over the years. But one thing that I am hearing and seeing from a lot of people is that uh, there's a lot of, you know, two year smaller fish, six to eight pounds, uh, which could could be a sign of good things to come uh, in future years. And if the ocean just gets a little bit better on us, even though we're not supplementing as much as perhaps I, I would like, we still have a lot of outbound smolts going into the ocean. And if, if the ocean is just a little bit better, all of a sudden steelhead fishing can get pretty nice. And of course, March is always a good idea on pretty much any river in Oregon, Washington. Uh, but at the same time, it's extra special today. A lot of fish caught. So in this drainage, we've had a lot of rain, snow this year. How, uh, how does that affect the fishing for you? So what I really like to see, especially on our rain-fed rain fed rivers, if we have a good lowland snow, that helps out the whole spawning process. It keeps the river flowing, especially when we get into early spring, mid-spring, it, it helps the river stay at a good level because we have that lowland snow melt. So it really helps keep the river at a great temperature to help all these winter steelhead out. It helps them get back out to the ocean and then it gives their spawning habitat. It makes it that much better because we have the colder water. If we had a dry winter and only a few rains, that's when it gets really tough. But this year it's been, it's been perfect and we had it last year too. So I really think coming up in the future, the next three to five years, we're setting ourselves up to see some of the good old days. I mean, that's, that's kind of where we're headed. And days like today that I'm getting to share with Tony and Lucas, this is a reminder that they're still there, they're still out there, and this is what we fish for. Yeah, and, and it's really a cycle. A lot of people think it's about 10, 11 years. I, I think maybe we hit a little bit deeper of a cycle this last time, but uh, a lot of good things happening. Honestly, I think fish are being caught all over the place not, it's not spotty it's 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 coast wide west coast wide rain's coming down in california oregon washington great snow packs everywhere so i know there's a lot of uh, videos out there that put out a lot of negative stuff but this is really positive and i and i really want the people not just in the northwest west coast to know that things are good but i want everybody to know they're good so if you're watching on the east coast midwest rockies um things are on a positive note right now so let's keep it that way and you know tony um wouldn't you say that we have actually been blessed with some pretty cool salmon runs that have kind of rebuilt over the years uh, for instance in the columbia river a lot of summer chinook sockeye salmon for instance and even springers were closed for many years and now we have those but steelhead has been kind of the tough spot that we've been dealing with and we finally for the first time even though the runs were really low for summer steelhead over bonneville they did actually start creeping back up and now this winter we're starting to see some better numbers than the previous year in a lot of watersheds winter steelhead are a lot harder to count especially in coastal areas without dams where you can count them um, but places where we can do pretty accurate counts, there's definitely some solid numbers. We're seeing reds and we're seeing a lot of fish caught. That's what matters, right?
So right now, Tony's gonna be bobber dogging some eggs through here. So we got a little bit of pencil lead, about a 10 foot, 10 foot dropper leader, and then a nice little bait of eggs. And we're in a nice hole where it's clean bottom and hopefully he's gonna go down and catch one here in a second. Let's see, pressure's on. All right, you guys, it's all on me. Lucas has got the camera. We're gonna toss it right yeah, out here. There we go. I it's think it might be a little low. It looks pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty full. Just kind of work right in there. There we go. Come on, fishy. Every Come hook, on, fishy. We've hooked one in. Come on, look at that. Looks really good, doesn't it? I'm working it down. Got a little line out. Do the one finger. Come on, fish. Come on, take it. Hammer it. Uh oh. You're good. Well, it's still rolling. looking good. How far down do we go? Go down by that log or not. By the log. Anywhere in there, you're in the money. Dude. Okay, we're in the money. We're you're in the money. Here, fishy, fishy. Come on. Come on. Yeah, anywhere down in there, I end up and then just keep, make a few casts and work it. Okay. And first cast. So usually when I come into holes, depending on where we're fishing, if it's a nice big open hole, I start and work it in a grid. I work in close, middle, further out, and that's how I like to attack the hole. I mean, work it like a grid system, and at some point, if one's in there, you're gonna get it. Right, here we go. Was this uh, cast number three, four? Maybe it's number four, I don't know. Get it up here. There you go. Come on, fish. I think that was one. I wouldn't doubt it, but I mean the it's, eggs weren't. It's tough to say. Eggs weren't know. totally stripped. Yeah. Oh, you're under. Oh. Bottom. Oh. Bottom. Bottom fish. What's, What's your deep? thoughts on the day so far? Oh, it's a killer day. It's not raining. It's dry. We're with good friends. Great scenery, and the fish are out there. So I mean, the day can't be any better than it is now, and we're just early on into our day so far. Nope, nope. That's a fish. Yeah, that's it's a fish. on, guys. I got it. Oh, no. It's still there. It's still there. Woohoo. Wee. I was like, is that good? Oh, so yeah. We switched to a bead, right? We just yeah. got a bead? Yeah. Nice. Long leader bead. That's a, that's a bright fish. You bead. want to go over? Oh, 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 oh yeah. I got a little bit. Sweet man, you got, down. you got that on camera. I got the right? bobber down, the, both the jumps. I'm gonna roll right, back so, up a little bit here. All right, so it took like six casts, right? Let's be honest. It did six casts and a little gear change, but, but hey, apparently they wanted beef, not fish or eggs. Sweet. Well, huh? You also fished it over there too. Yeah, right? I went a little. I went a little farther out, kind of in the heavy water at the top, but it kind of smooths out. Is that well, log I don't know come what, out? Watch out that log. Yeah, I think I it's, go below. There's a, yeah. I think it's going under We're it. We're right going now. right next to that log. There it is. It's, it's a right nice here. fish, it's right too. Here. It's a chromer, yeah. It, it looked like a good one. We'll just go here and get him. Yeah, we're good. It's a chrome piece. I'm just trying to keep us up here a little bit. <laughs> good job, Mr. Amato. Uh-oh. Oh, there she baby. goes. Oh. Holy oh. moly, that's a nice fish. That's a lot, lot uh, heavier looking now than I thought. Did you see that thing? I almost was like a summer. That would be amazing. <laughs> I think it's just a really nice no, hand. I know. It's, it's, it's got, got a, just with it and we'll go to the bank where we It's got it. a lot of chrome on it. Oh man. Well that? Tony, are you it's having very, fun? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is what it's all about. And, uh, that second jump made me notice this fish is bigger than I thought. <laughs> the first time it didn't look quite as big. So this could be a battle here. Fresh fish. I'm gonna put this in one here. Okay. Yeah, I, it's not even that mad yet. This fish is just like, I think it's just getting started. Just getting started. Uh, yeah, gosh, it's right there and it will not turn. Like you wouldn't, you know what I mean? You, usually they flip a little bit. It is just dogging. Look at that. Maybe I can. I don't. I think if we tried to net it, it's gonna freak oh, out. Yeah, we're gonna right here. We got there. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. This is when they can go nuts. 
I, oh, it's not. That's going to do it again. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is a nice one. It's going to go crazy. Oh, there's a big bowl. Right it looks there. like a beautiful, beautiful wild hen. I'll just keep it fresh. Yeah, try it out. Oh, down there. Hiding. Hiding under the boat. Oh, well, let's just stay by the rock now. Hey, you're gonna have to go around the rock and I'm gonna take it right around. Oh, okay. Nice, Tyler. Wow, this is a beautiful fish. We've got the freshest fish of the day as well here. Freshest one of the day. Oh, you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful oh, wild hen. Right. All right, you guys, check that out. Nice, beautiful hen. Wild fish. Looks like, uh, I don't think it's been in here too long. I don't know, maybe has it spawned already? Looks like oh, she's no, fresh. No, that's fresh. fresh. Got a full belt. Looks, not uh, a belt. We're gonna let her go here and uh, catch some more fish. I mean, it's been an amazing day. I, I think, I don't even know, 10 fish? I can't we even, gotta be closing in on it. I, I can't even keep track. So yeah. here she goes. We'll uh, give her a little, little touch there and off into the deep. Sweet. Dude. Yeah. That's what it's all about, Tony. Yes, Good it job, is. Man. Oh, now I gotta get in. up. <laughs> now we gotta get in the boat. Right. <laughs> in the mud. On, buddy. Oh, it's a you cool guy it. getting up. Yeah. So I guess per capita, what, how many casts have you guys made? Oh, at least 50 so far this morning. So, but then again, you know, these guys like hand fed that fish to me. So <laughs> kudos to them. Yeah. But hey, I'll take a hand fed fish, right? Especially when it's a hot one like that. Yeah. Just hooked up on a fish. Sweet man. Yep. Oh, he's way down there. Spoonfish. That is awesome, we man. And this is in a spot we just fished through for a long time. All right, guys, we just got one on a spoon. Tyler hooked up on it. Lucas, we're going. Here, uh, here, fish? take it, dude. Okay. We're going on the chase. Oh, this is gonna we're be going on the chase, and uh, it's going to be an adventure. Real on I was just, I was just gonna we'll film. Out here if we can. I was just gonna film these rapids just for fun, but now it's gonna get real. Yeah. We're gonna try to bring it back up. I think I this is a big spoon here, fish. You can see I don't, the water and I don't know. I don't know if this fish is gonna let come back to you. Bury your rod down in the water. I just want to be ready to go if we have to. Put it down in the water, Lucas. It creates that bow, and then we might be able to turn his head a little bit. Well, maybe it'll come back. Is it coming towards us? I think a little bit. Yeah. Good. Is it? Oh, good. He don't want to go back down there either. No, he doesn't. Oh, what the heck? Uh oh, is it turning? It, is it off? Oh. oh no. He got him. No, he's still there? He's coming. He must he's be just coming right up. up here. He must be coming up this side. What the heck? He's swimming up. How come I don't see him? Well, it's, oh, there oh, he is. right there. Yeah. He's just not that big of a fish. Right there, I see him. He's smaller than I thought. <laughs> yeah. That's cool, though. All right, guys. That's cool. Luckily, uh, All right. luckily. Luckily for us, it was an old fish. Yeah. And we thought we were gonna have to maybe go down river, but luckily Lucas was able to cor course her back up here. We're gonna let this one go.
incredible. We got you the holy grail, my man. All right, this is uh, this is incredible. Wonderful day of fishing. I just got a beautiful winner. I uh, I got a colored up one before, but now I got an absolute freshy, um, gorgeous, gorgeous March winter steelhead. Look at that right there. Look at the kind of red tint on the bottom. That is gorgeous. Wow. Look at that hen, and you can tell it's a hen because that uh, mouth doesn't come past the eye very far. And that's just gorgeous fish. All right. Well, this fish is an absolute dime piece. It is ready to go. Look at those spots. It's like an Atlantic salmon. Woo. Okay, I asked these guys for the unicorn video and they delivered. I literally took the drone off just upstream here Lucas hooks the fish, has it on, I get it splashing from above with the drone. I'm netting the fish and from the bank releasing it, flying the drone out on the river, right? And so I'm like, hey, let's do this again. Let's do it one more time, why not, right? You just got a fish, let's fly the drone, I change the battery. I'm flying around, getting some great shots. And out of, I don't even know if I can say out of nowhere. But uh, a goose, a Canadian goose ran straight into the drone, knocked it out of the sky, plunk into the water, just like that. I know it sounds crazy, but I got goosed, right? But uh, uh, we all saw it, right? Oh yeah, it was crazy. It was a train wreck in midair. I mean, I think he was aiming for it personally. I saw him go and like go head straight for it big old smack and it goes down in the water of course right after we got the perfect footage right yeah, yeah. That hey that's a fish fish no. on lucas sweet no holy Just moly like oh he's going he might that's jump a... he's gonna jump oh oh oh, oh. he's oh. getting mad he's turning wow once again thought i was on the bottom but you are on the bottom oh oh man this could get interesting you're good dude play me easy it doesn't feel like small. No, I, I think he's in the. You're like in pretty diesel. heavy current right here. Or it might just be a fresh one that's down the party. Uh, it's it's steady. It's, it's like nice steady. Sucker. It's steady. It's good. Might be a pike minnow or a sucker or maybe a good white sucker. fish. You know. No, it's bigger than that. That's one. heavy. It hasn't even yeah, turned. Oh yeah, that's a that's, oh, a, that's a that's yeah. a that's a steelhead. Most chrome sucker I've ever. Played. Gonna keep taking this to the bay. All right. Good job, Lucas. Yeah. That's two in a row for you, huh? Chromers, that's really cool, man. Right, you guys. <laughs> two in a row for the Lucas Meister. Just another gorgeous winter steelhead example of what we've had going on today. Absolutely beautiful. Thanks, Tyler, for the gorgeous, uh, you know, fish that we've been catching all day. Yeah. It's been fun. It takes all of us to make it happen. A lot of, lot of techniques, you know, from spoons to eggs, to beads, to clusters, to just about everything gorgeous. All right, let's see what happens. Right under the boat. Heck yeah. <laughs> nice. Woo. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Yeah, that's a nice looking spot here. Right there. Oh, 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 we got something. Dude, that something happened. Yeah. Happen. The hot hand oh, wow. has got another fish on. In tight. Tyler wasn't joking. He said fish in tight. And we were. Sweet. And, uh, that looked like a nice fish, like a fresh one. Decent size that came up. It was kind of strong. 
This is in some heavy water here too. Maybe not. He's coming up nice and easy That's actually. Nice. Got that yep. net just oh, in yeah. case. Here he is. That's a chromer. Oh, there we go. Another fresh one. Not up to the boat. Oh, oh, taking off. Whoa. That's what we like to see, honey. All right, coming in. There we go. Head first. Well, oh, maybe not. Sometimes they don't agree with you. Woo! <laughs> You're ready, but I don't there know if you yeah. There it is. Sweet, you guys. Another Look one. Look at this. Oh Another my gosh. One. That's crazy. That's beautiful hand. That's crazy. Yeah. 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 All right, guys. Great day fishing. Hit that subscribe button for this fish right here. Just the last one of the day. And uh, Tyler, magical day, man. Oh, it was a great day. I mean, steelhead fishing doesn't get much better than this. No. Great day, beautiful weather, great friends, and the fish cooperated, and we found them in pretty much every hole today. Mm -hmm. So that was a great time, and couldn't ask for a better day. Oh, yeah. That might have been a fish that right didn't go down there. there right? river. So I throw it back through there. Oh, oh my gosh, you guys. At the takeout. <laughs> Lucas, the go. go, don't don't pull too hard. Maybe he'll swim him. back up. We'll I got the boat tied off so they didn't Oh my gosh, you guys, this is crazy. Lucas just hooked a fish right at the takeout. Just go, give him slack. Maybe he'll come back. Oh my gosh, you guys! That's the, the day right there. Look at this! <laughs> Crazy! What in the <laughs> world is going on when you get one at the takeout? <laughs> well, Over I guess 10. that's a good way to end the day, <laughs> what is that, guys. Twelve fish landed or what? I haven't had a day <laughs> like this know, dude. That was in a forever. Wow, totally epic day. I think we pretty much lost track of how many fish we hooked. Uh, when you're watching the video, you'll see all the ones we got on film, but there was just as many or more that we didn't even get on film. But uh, I want to thank Tyler for having us out. It you're have been welcome, possible. you guys. It was awesome, yeah, man. we had a great day, great friends. Can't yeah. say enough. Lucas, right? This is just ridiculous to even have this last fish at the takeout. I mean, I got the bonus fish back there yeah like a different hole i'm not supposed to have another bonus fish so i know it's a hatchery, hatchery yeah to be hatchery late yeah. run like this man something we can take it's hard home. to beat yeah all right so hey thanks for watching and we will see you next time don't forget to subscribe here on youtube and don't forget to subscribe to the magazine online and we'll see you next time